Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games and this video is going to be about the new feature Underground Palace. You can see it over here, the icon on top middle. So let's pop in the first thing actually before you enter Underground Palace, make sure your window is maximized because they didn't do testing as usual and uh, basically if you don't have the window maximized then you will not see this exit button you will actually see you will see this bit and uh, you will see the inventory but you will not see the the exit so you're stuck in in the underground palace and the only way you can exit is by restarting the game so that's how awesome that is so first time underground palace let's go over all the different parts well, it's always good to start with the question marks or remaining normal events, excluding he hidden events. Finish all the normal events to obtain extra point rewards. Must have only three normal events remaining to enter the next level. Early entry cannot obtain extra point rewards. We suggest that you trigger all the normal events. So it's not really clear, to be perfectly honest, for the first time. Basically, we got 31 events. Probably these are icons like this on on the board. I've seen this um, this kind of a feature in another game as well. So it's not Warchun specific. They're all clones of the same thing. Basically, you have a, a board and, and you have different events uh, which are happening on different squares. And some events are hidden, which means that even if you think you are moving and there is nothing on the next box, there could still be something. So, um, so that's for the right side now for the left side you got the points kind of same style as the jewel first one probably we can get quite easily adventure treasure chest obtain sepulchrum Ma three mara three mount training whip two um so not all all not very impressive and self skill chest one is probably the only good thing there and then goes to level 2 with 100 soul crystals, Vulcan stove just 1 and that's not a huge amount. And he gets more and more 2 Vulcan stoves but he, what's good here on this one is there's a fashion core but then most likely free players are already not going to be able to get from here upwards. Looking at the next one, good luck charm with 3 stoves. And uh, the top one, 20 Sepulchrum, 20 Mara and Whips, 10 Hoofs, and uh, 5 Seals, and 4 Stoves. So that's, that's that. To obtain the Underground Chest, you also get their 100 Bond Builds, which is really good. So uh, we'll see how about getting those. You can minimize, maximize, check out the rankings. It's empty because it's the first day of this feature so their ranking hasn't been calculated yet um, what else you get to see here rare uh, treasures can be found in places with special hints searching consumes steps and we got remaining steps 30 we can of course buy more and uh, remaining revives one and we can buy more let's click so 99 balance to buy five steps I'm planning never ever to buy this myself um, and you can buy more revise for 30 so uh, that's basically the the thing around here somewhere I think maybe the first time I entered uh, it said you could move around with the arrow keys uh, but I'm gonna try to do it with a mouse we are on top left in other games I've seen like a kind of a boss here on the bottom right so I'm gonna try to make my way at least um, let's say diagonally to the bottom right and see how that goes um, first up treasure let's pick that up 10 points obtain crypt key so that's uh, pretty good so treasures are good so plus one for treasures redemption one revival and uh, this might sound awesome but uh, from other games I remember this is not a really big deal it's useful if you die but I'm not planning to die Encounter is going to give points and there's going to be monster probably going to give some experience or something I'm not really too excited about that again. I'm, I'm more judging it uh, from my other games experience as well points spree So that's good that's gonna that's gonna contribute to the points on the left 25 that's pretty good That's already 25% of the way there is another point over there So let's grab that as well 
So I can get up to 30, that's good. And I got the worst. It's okay, it happens. Now, what you want to do is, um, I don't know if they have it here, but there is also a map. You feel tired and need a break. Um, operation failure. Okay, 23. So I can't move. Oh, I gotta wait for a whole minute. Click to remove stiffness. Now we'll wait for a minute. And uh, uh, in other games, uh, there is an icon uh, where um, you can, if you find it, it reveals like the whole map. So I don't know if they have the same thing here. Uh, and we'll see about that. Uh, but if there is that icon, that, that is probably the most important one. And uh, the first thing that we have to do with the underground palace is identify all the icons which are more beneficial than others because sometimes you'll have choices to make to take one or to take the other and so uh, that's pretty important. So got seven seconds to go almost there. So that was not super awesome. Seems a little strange around here, so that's the hint he's talking about searching, so I'm going to search. And it's going to take three steps to make the search, but I'm going to give it. Vulcan Stove 1, so that's supposedly very good. He also said that that's very, very good. So here we have a choice, uh, Lucky Draw and Lucky Draw, but if you had a different one, that's what I mean by you have to choose one or the other, because probably going back is not a good idea enter the next level you can do if you have at least three attempts left and so far from what i understood one sepulchrum uh so far from what i understood this is very very good because probably on the next level we'll get better rewards i'm gonna pop in straight away to the next level and uh, what is really weird is I should normally be able to see the the boxes around so I don't know why it only shows the box where I am but let's let's pop into the next level haven't met the requirements yet for entering you must have only three normal events remaining to enter next level okay so um, basically we have to use up all of these in such a way that only three are left let's go back to lucky draw so here we can get a crypt key we can get Imperial Seal, which I'm not very excited about. For those who are not familiar with the Imperial Seal, this is for skipping circuit quests. And uh, the best thing here is, of course, the Crypt Key. Uh, then uh, probably Mahara, Fate, uh, Fate, and then lastly the the Imperial Seal. So that's one. Black Market is where you ha you can get a discount to buy stuff. So instead of going in there, because I know that I'm not going to be buying stuff, I'm going to go around it. Lucky draw and treasure. So VIP, one hour. That's actually very, very good for uh, anybody who is not VIP. That will allow you to use up all your VIP tokens. So that's absolutely awesome. A spirit covenant. Um... 24 hour spirit covenant that's also good um also for people who don't have it you can use this to um to try to pass a, a certain level that you can't pass either in sky trail or in uh, necropolis for example so that's pretty cool got vip for an hour so for me, I'm not going to use it. There's vitality there, which I'm not sure about, but I actually don't want to go there. I want to go to the treasure. Skeleton key. Okay, let's do encounter. Bell rating 400,000. Don't know, that sounds like a lot, but for some reason, I'm not afraid of it. Jar lore. It's level 50. And he's like dead. So I don't know what, what was that 400,000 bell rating all about. It's definitely wrong. So we just got points for that. So I'm not at all liking that. Um, so let's just go down, I guess. We got points free, so that's gonna go for the for the points over here. 
Now I already have 125 points and 20, 20 events to go so I'm not actually planning to get to 500 so I'm not excited about that point spree. Gonna go for the treasure instead. So got a Mara there. So I have to get here with um, three left so we can count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got plenty, I can walk around. Lucky draw. Oh, this is good. Underground uh, palace map shard. So you need if you have five shards. Uh, you can synthesize them into a chest now that's a good thing and you get points for it so that's really good 40 points now treasure and point spree here so that makes sense to go down be awesome to get the 40 pointer 30 30 is awesome as well two Two Birdum Swine, this is actually, so far, this is like the best reward I got, I think, because, of course, if you can gather enough of this wine, you can get golden treasure maps, which uh, which will get you more resistance crystals, so this is pretty cool, and another treasure on the way, all this uh, crystal all the gem pack openings are so irritating it's absolutely impossible the last two days to talk in the chat because everybody is opening them and um, they did a very poor game design so it's the chat is absolutely impossible uh, alright refinement lock waste of an item so we got 17 steps and uh, I have to make sure I get to, uh, that I get to the next level and I want to get to that via here because uh, then I don't want to go over somewhere where I've already been and I have to take into consideration that I might again find a special place for which I need to search which will cost me three and also you don't want to walk too much on the edges because um, you only see one side so it, it makes a lot of sense to, to move um, in such a way that you see more uh, around you. Now normal events um, left 17 but I, I just saw and I got the error that I'm out of steps I, I forgot totally about steps I was looking at the events for um, for the calculations so this is actually forcing you to um, to spend balance in order to get to the next level so uh, basically since there's 17 events left you need three events uh, in order to enter uh, if three events left in order to enter that means 14 additional steps uh, are required and uh, the only way to get 14 steps is to spend 100 balance per 5 steps so that means 300 balance are required to enter the next level now unless there are uh, I don't know there's an army of virgins over there or something like that <laughs> I'm not sure if 300 balance are worth it so if there are any cashers out there who've, who've tried it out please put down in the comments if it was worth paying all those balance to get into the next level with uh, three events remaining so um, that's it and as you saw the revive uh, revives as I told you were absolutely useless just like my previous experience from other games uh, it might be maybe useful on a lower level, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but um, I, I've, I've had a similar game like this uh, on a lower level and I never used the revive, so, or, or extremely rarely, so I'm not too excited about that. So if you see a revive event, I'd probably uh, recommend to bypass it and take something else, that is if you have a choice. Um, four steps uh, that's gonna be tough so you see the way I walked was um, yeah the, the way I walked was like this and what was bad about it was the last three steps um, because as I said if you come down to the to the edge you don't you don't have any more boxes afterwards so your choices are limited but of course I only came to the edge because there were several things to choose several treasures to, to, to pick but otherwise, uh, definitely stay away from the edge uh, and walk in such a way that you always have nine boxes around you to maximize your possible choices. For the search thing, 
Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's uh, useful for now. Um, I did get um, the, the Vulcan stove, I think it was. And, and here, if you look at the rewards, they, they give you one on the 500 point level. So, um, and, and I got one treasure map, so that's good. And, uh, but what I wanted to say is that uh, that costed me three ter three steps to do that search and um, we just have to see over time if those three steps are worth it or it might be better that you take some other stuff um, like on the map. So if you have any um, experience or comments about it or your opinion about it, put it down in the comments and, and we can share with each other and uh, learn the best way of doing the underground palace. But uh, for now, this is done. I can collect this chest. Um, let's take that up. And uh, for the points, I can't do more. So you see, with um, going the freeway, uh, it's extremely, extremely difficult to get to 500 points. Because uh, I got 225. If I had gotten really lucky, I would have gotten three, 400. But that's still far away from 500 and um so that's that's the case i'm definitely not going to be on top rankings because cashers you will take the top rankings which is completely fine because they have spent money for it um but again there will be people who will pay tons of balance just to get to the top chest for whatever reason um but i'm not sure that would be a very efficient way of spending the money so that's it you guys uh for revives remember don't be too bothered with them you saw the level 50 400 500 thousand bell rating monster died extremely easily so that was not a major issue you have an inventory over here and that's probably to open up the to reveal the map at some point um, unless the the shards are all to get this treasure chest which means that if you get one shard per day you might be able to get a treasure chest every five days but something tells me that um, you're not gonna get lucky to get one um, or we are not gonna get lucky to get one shard per day because if you could get one shard per day and get every five days um, this chest you could get uh, from 50 to 300 balance uh, every five days which would be absolutely awesome and uh, who knows maybe we can do it and um, that's it if you guys have um, uh, this underground chest uh, send me the drop rates um, like what did you get out of the chest and I'll try to make a drop rate report for for everybody um, so we can all benefit from that as well and to exit of course you go out remember you only can see the exit button if you go full screen um and if you uh, forgot about the full screen then uh, you have to restart your game that's the only way to come back to to the real balanor world so that's it you guys i hope you found that fun and useful for the first run of the underground palace i wish you good luck to get a lot of points and rewards thanks for watching and have a very nice day remember to subscribe and click on like and all my links and stuff is in in the description box below thanks